guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be all about raising backyard chickens what i've learned after doing it for oh man going on seven years now uh things i would have done differently things that we do on a daily basis all that kind of stuff um right now you can see they've just been fed and i guess that'll bring me into my first topic which is feeding uh this little feeder we've had since these We've had these little little hens since birth. Um, it just hangs from this little joist up here. And I give about, I don't know, six or seven, I'll show you the container that I use, uh, scoops of food in here. Uh, usually they'll go through that in about a week. I got five uh, full grown laying hens. Uh, this is part of the original nine that I got six or seven years ago. I can't remember, I think it's seven years ago. Seven years ago in April. Uh, so I still have the original crew here. Uh, we lost uh, four of them uh, due to uh, reproductive shutdown issues. So uh, I think we just think they stopped laying and then um, they kind of go egg bound. It's sad. We took them to the vet and all that stuff, but I won't bore you all the sad stuff. Uh, right now they're chowing down. I just get, refresh that feeder up. So one recommendation I would do if you're gonna do backyard chickens is to just have one spot where they eat. And I always put it in a secure area. This is their little coop that we built, that I built years ago, and it lives down there. Uh, <clears throat> as far as security goes, um, things that I would definitely recommend, uh, knock on wood, we haven't had any problems, is that they sleep up in this bay up here. So at night, they come in the main door, they go up their little ladder over here. You can see them eating over there. They go up their little ladder into that little area which is fully secure once you're through that little door. Leave these doors closed except for maintenance and they sleep in here. Now, I have to change out these shavings every week because they will they will poop. You can see where they poop in a row because they sleep up usually up on this front roost. And we had nesting boxes off to the side and it just wasn't enough room for them. So I built a bigger double setup in the back and that seems to be sufficient for when we had six hens for a while, um, that was good. So I would add a bay uh, for every three hens you have. I'll show you the nesting boxes in a second, but they sleep up in here. This is just that um, pine shaving. They call it like white fluffy shavings. It's like seven bucks a bag and I'll go through. This is a four foot by four foot space. I'll go through a, a bag of shavings every month and a half with uh, weekly change outs. Take you over here to the side where if you look at some of my original videos this thing looked amazing but i had this whole little side nesting box area and cabinet and it just being under these oaks and in florida it just rotted out so um didn't have a big overhang on it that was the problem so version 2.0 has a big you can see the big overhang all over this area here and this stuff stays solid uh, it ends up being a wasp nest haven under here. So in the summer, I got to watch my, when I go in here, but this is where they'll lay eggs. Here's bay one. This is about, I would I think this is 36 inches by, I think 28 inches. So two by three space with proper ventilation back here. Cause it does get hot in the summer. And then on this side, same situation. For some reason, they like to lay all their eggs on that side. I don't know why they all they all choose. And then I just got a regular little um, kind of composite roof up here. Nothing fancy. This thing was, you know, I'll, again, look for the shape who lay coop on YouTube. You'll see it. This thing was beautiful years ago, but things don't stay nice out here in uh, Florida. As far as their run goes, they do have a lot of room. So. This is a, I don't know, that's probably 15 feet back here wide. They can kind of, sorry for the sun flare, guys. They kind of come all the way around here. So they have all this area back in here. And then they have, I believe this is 135 feet of run back here on this back fence line. So we let them free range back here. I just keep my extra little pavers and stuff back here. Some stumps they like. They love to peck the bugs that go into the stumps. 
So they do have a pretty good size run. Um, one thing about chickens is that if they don't have a lot of space, you don't have to have this much space, but if they don't have a lot of space, they'll fight each other, which is, uh, it's never fun. So um, that's just something to take into consideration. So I would say from, I think it is from fence, from this chicken fence here to here is about 40 feet, give or take, 35, 40 feet. So 35, 40 feet by 125, 130 feet. I don't know exactly what it is. So take you back in here. That's Bethany. She lay, that's a white leghorn. She's the most reliable layer out of all of them. We have the Rhode Island Reds, but she is a, every single day she'll lay one or two. So, and she's usually the first to come back after when they take laying breaks. So that's something to note. Another thing I think that's given us a lot of success is this massive bougainvillea bush that we've made into a tree. This is very thorny and they most of the time during the day they're underneath here hanging out. They're rarely hanging out in their coop. They're usually out over here where their water is. Uh, but they're, the hawks that kind of like to hang out up in these oak trees don't really want to mess with a thorn bush. So that's a, something to note too. If you're going to do chickens, have some sort of protection, some sort of hideaway that they can get away from wildlife with. They got a six and a half foot fence all the way around for privacy. So no intruders can come in through the ground most of the time. I don't want to jinx that. And then back here, they got some extra crap to kind of play around with. So they have a lot of space. I try to throw down a bunch of hay. I try to rehay this as much as possible. Uh, the hay keeps the, keeps the dirt to a minimum and they love to scratch through the hay and get the bugs and stuff and it's much more aesthetically pleasing because chickens will clear if you let chickens roam if like if i let chickens roam around out here in the yard all that green grass would be gone they destroy everything so anywhere you put a chicken just expect them to completely clear the land and make huge ruts everywhere so that's another thing i want to talk about see these little chicken holes these are perfect for rolling your ankle in you can see the ground is real ruddy and I rake this usually every three or four months um, and it just turns into ruts. So something to consider if you're gonna get chickens, make sure you have a space that's dedicated to them because they will tear up your yard pretty quick. Uh, another thing, kind of show you the benefits of the chickens is the eggs. This is today's haul and I didn't check them for about, uh, Two days, three days, something like that. I think I got 15 eggs in there, which is awesome. The white leghorn lays these big white eggs. Real nice. These are like these are like the best eggs out of all of them, in my opinion. And the Americana we have lays these uh, teal eggs. She's she's a little bit of a spaz chicken, but <laughs> she lays them. Uh, she's definitely the lowest on the pecking order when it comes to pecking order. And then the black sex links that we have lay these nice brown eggs. And the Rhode Island, actually the Rhode Island red lays these, they're probably not picking it up on the camera, these are a little bit pinker. So you've got a nice little array of, of color when it comes to eggs. You don't even have to paint them, see? Just have fancy chickens and they'll give you nice eggs. For water, um, we have these two little watering things. I try to fill these up daily with fresh water and then keep them scrubbed with a scrub brush to keep keep all the algae out of there. You could put a little peroxide in there, but you know, less chemicals the better in my opinion. So they have fresh water here, which is under this big bougainvillea. And you can see what I mean by security. There's just a ton of thorns. It's a pain in the neck to trim, but I think it's the saving grace for the chickens. They love stumps. They like to hang out on stumps. We made this little chicken bench for them. There's a video on my channel making that. They love to hang out up there, anywhere they can perch. So they perch up here, hang out over here. They love it. And they'll just kind of, they just graze around and make a bunch of noise and lay eggs. So um, yeah, if you guys are gonna do backyard chickens, I definitely would recommend it. If you have, you know, between 15 and 20 minutes a day to dedicate to them and you have, a lot of time to make a security area um, and definitely a coop that's elevated. This, the cheap coops that they sell at like tractor supply and stuff that are on the ground. Uh, I know some people with those, not such good luck. Uh, cats can get in there, raccoons, everything else. So 
Um, for a while, for five, six years, we were every single night coming out here and closing this big door um, once they went up for the night. But thankfully, knock on wood, nothing's happened to them. We just leave this open like this and they go in and out and no cats or anything go in there so far. So I say that and I'll jinx myself, but you could always close that up for security at night. So, you know, you do have to make sure you're, you're on top of things, especially in an urban setting. So yeah, guys, I think I covered everything. Um, this is the pail. I feed them organic layer crumbles. And then we put, I did a recipe on YouTube. It's on my channel um, where we, I show you how to make the food, but we take organic layer crumbles, uh, some rolled oats and a bunch of other little ingredients and mix them together. And then these are those cups I was talking about uh, to fill it up with. So I'm not sure how big that is, but there's my hand. You can get an idea of the size. So she's hanging out, getting some water. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, you like this video, if it helped you out in any way, make a decision about backyard chickens, let me know in the comments. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.